find me now, will we? Okay. I'm talking to Yvonne. Yvonne, where did you volunteer and what did you do? So far I've done four different placements. The first was in a township school in South Africa called Henry and Ginza in Port Elizabeth. <clears throat> then I went to Nepal and I worked in Samarta School in Kathmandu and I did two tours there. And then last year I went to the Gambia to work on the early uh, childhood development program that's being set up there. <clears throat> what were the highlights of your many trips? <laughs> I think, you know, the main highlight is the <clears throat> amazing people that you, you meet. There are some quite fascinating characters um, in different ways. Um, the, uh, the staff in uh, Port Elizabeth were all very dedicated to their jobs and, and were really very poorly paid but were working really hard to give the children the best education they could. Um, <clears throat> in Kathmandu, uh, Utam, the, uh, a real character, the man who set up the project, well the projects, the number of schools that he's got going in Kathmandu, he's uh, quite inspiring but the, the children there are absolutely delightful and being in such a vibrant city is, when I'm used to sort of living in the countryside, was quite, quite amazing. Um, what do you consider were the greatest challenges of your volunteering? <clears throat> I think it's when you first get there trying to find out exactly what they want you to do because until you get there you don't really know exactly what you're going to do and it's it's trying to get something sorted fairly quickly so that you know that you can have at least three, three perhaps four weeks of um, meaningful input. And what is the most important piece of advice you would give potential volunteers? Uh, <clears throat> be very flexible and don't go with too many preconceived ideas of what you're likely to find. Just take it as it comes. Thank you. And finally, why did you choose people and places? Well, originally, um, <clears throat> many years back, I saw an advert in a Saga magazine and so applied via that. But um, <clears throat> my last two placements have been with, uh, just with people and places because I found their organisation is very good. Um, I know I shall be providing something that's needed and I know I've got good backup. Thank you all and thank you for your time. <coughs>